So this may be a vacation month for you. A lot of people vacation at this time. I am not vacationing, and what you're seeing is not something that's growing out of my head. It's, <laughs> it, well, maybe it's masking my antenna. <laughs> I'm actually at an Airbnb right now, working, and you know, I think the thing that I would like to impress upon you this month is make the most of wherever you are. You know, if, if you're vacationing, congratulations. If you're working, congratulations. If you're sitting at home wondering what you're going to do, congratulations. <laughs> you see, it's all in the perspective. It's, it's a perspective that, you know, if I move my head just right, it looks like I'm, I've got a plant growing out of my head. That's a perspective. Uh, if I move it just right, you can see the air conditioning system in this Airbnb. But you see, that perspective of where you are may feel a little overwhelming to you. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to see if I can give you some tips on how to deal with the overwhelming energy that we are living in right now. It is intense, yes. So the first thing that you know I'm going to say, if you have listened to me for five minutes any other time, is sit in the stillness. Five, 10, 15 minutes a day. Sit in the stillness and that will actually help you anchor yourself into this present moment. Because a lot of times what we are anxious about are things that have not happened yet. So what good does that do? Instead, sit in the stillness and bring yourself present, focusing exactly on this present moment and what are you doing? What is the next most important thing for you to do, to say, to know, to be in that state of divine grace? What does divine grace mean to you? Having that energy and having that information will help you from feeling overwhelmed. I know the politics and the things that are going on around the world are, are intense. So what can you control? What is in your control? That's what you get to think about. What is in your control? And then take action regarding that specific thing. So tip one, be present, breathe into the stillness, and ask what is in my control that I can physically do. And then take action. I guess that's step one and step two. <laughs> tip one and tip two. Ah, maybe tomorrow we'll have tip three and maybe tip four. <laughs> have a great day.